Hi, my beautiful friends and YouTube family. Today, I wanted to speak to you about me spending $40,000 to be personally mentored by Bob Proctor for just a few months. And was it worth it? Let's get into it. Oh, I could be the best thing in your life. Miss Danish. So, yes, I spent $40,000 to be personally mentored by Bob Proctor. Was it worth it to me? Um, yes and no. Here's my things. Uh, I feel like I came to Bob Proctor and his teachings at a time when I was really looking to get out of my shell, be more bold. Uh, it wasn't until I found his teachings that I, that I knew like I could do whatever I wanted to do and be whoever I wanted to be. I didn't have to ask for permission by anybody on those things that I wanted to be, to do, and to have. Only thing I had to do was set my mind to it, know that I wanted those things, and really go for those things, uh, and not let my paradigm stop me. Not let, you know, when I get afraid and when that terror barrier comes up, to not fall into that trap and not stop, but just keep going. So when I came upon his teachings, I was fascinated by the idea. Um, and so I just, I studied him day and night. I listened to every single piece of content that I could possibly find on YouTube and other places of his teachings. Uh, I got his books, I read his books, and I was just really fascinated by him and just the confidence that he gave to go out and, and really shine in the world. So uh, there came a time, I'm going to tell you how I got invited to his home. How that came to be is, you know, I took a couple of his uh, online sessions that he offered. And uh, so I was very familiar with those. But then I was contacted by a person uh, from his team uh, saying that they had this opportunity and they wanted to invite me to something called the matrix it was a matrix program i think it was a four-day in-person program where you go to canada uh, you get personally taught you be in a room with other like-minded people other successful people and you really dive deep into the whole uh, law of attraction, uh, what it means and how it really works. I was fascinated by that. But then when they said, and you also get a chance to have a meal at his home, spend the day at his home and have a meal there. <laughs> I mean, I was sold. I was just like, this is a person that I admire so much. I learn from so much. Of course, I want to go and uh, have this experience with him. And when they told me the, the price of what it would cost, whoo, <laughs> you know, I was not, um, I was a little shocked at the number. I was a little uh, the sticker shocked that it would really cost me, you know, that amount of money. I believe, I believe that I paid $16,000, $16,000 to have a personal meal with Bob Proctor, as well as the, uh, the four day event. And that was, of course, part of the four days. So I was just like, oh my gosh, okay. So where am I gonna get this? Uh, Cause I didn't easily have that in the bank. Um, but some things came about where I didn't have to take out a loan or anything. I didn't have to uh, 
you know, borrow the money. The money literally came to me and I was able to pay for this, uh, this event outright. Uh, just like, you know, just like they all say, if you, only thing you have to do is decide what you want and the, the resources come to you. It was literally like that. I decided what I wanted and the resources literally came to me. So I went to this event um, and, you know, like I said, I have this this God given assignment that I had been holding on to for like two years. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to start. And I had really never spoken it out loud to anyone. Um, But while in this room with all of these like-minded people wanting to achieve these far out uh, goals or seemingly you know impossible things and goals while being in this space I felt so empowered and we actually all everybody in the room had to had to share what their goal was now there's level to levels to goals if you have been watching any of Bob Proctor's teachings then you know that there are levels to goals there are levels to your different goals so level a is a goal that you know you've you make and you've actually done it before you know that's something like you know you're going to do like okay like today my goal is to get up and be on time for work and you know actually be early well that's something you've done before so you make that goal you know that it's it's possible for you to achieve that thing so then there's a type b goal is a goal that is that is more challenging but you know uh you know with hard work you can actually you can do that thing too so Um, And then there's a C-type goal that is like so far out there that uh, most people don't reach that C goal because they let their paradigm get in the way of, I don't know how to do it, I don't have the money to do it, and so I'm just going to bury that dream deep and forget it was ever there. So those are the goals that we had to uh, set and speak out loud while at this event. Of course, my goal is to uh, bring light and celebration to uh, unsung heroes. You know, in a, in a, I have a, a method in a, in a special way, but I had never spoken it out loud. Number one, because I see the vision for it. I have the vision for it. I have the assignment for it. Uh, but it's like I was so afraid to say it uh, out loud for fear that somebody else who might already have the resources to do that thing might steal my idea and you know take it and run with it they already have the resources if I share it with them they are like oh my gosh let's do this and then they can take it and, and run with it right so I never I never spoke it out loud and y'all know if y'all watch my other video y'all know that that's happened to me <laughs> my whole life almost like people love to take my ideas you know and it's not that I don't do the thing that my idea is it's just they want to copy they want to do it too you know and if they have the the resources to to do it uh, in a bigger way then there you go uh you know they <laughs> they do but they copy my idea so it's very hard for me to share anyway while in this space while in this room I got to get on the mic I got to tell everybody this is my idea and this is how it's going to work I'm telling you everybody in the room went like at first when everybody else was going around sharing their idea everybody would cheer and yay but when i said my idea it's like the room went silent and i don't know i don't know why i I think that when they heard it they were just like okay well that's unrealistic or maybe it's just that's my perception of you know how why the room went silent i really don't know why the room went silent but i know that it did and and then it took people a few seconds and then they clapped for me but i was already uncomfortable sharing 
so when the room went silent, I was just like, oh my God, now I just want to go under a rock and hide. But I can say that sharing it out loud made it real, made it set in stone, made me want to run like crazy towards it and not stop until I get there. So in that way, was the $16,000 worth going to that event? I would say yes, because we dove deep, we learned, and um, I was really able to understand on a scientific level stuff that I understood through the teaching of the Bible uh, and Bible study. I was I was able to, to learn it in a different way. So uh, spending that $16,000, being around like-minded people, being around successful people who, you know, are at those levels or where I want to go, I, I, I have to say that it was worth it. Being, hold on, being in Bob Proctor's home, you know, sitting down actually on the sofa, having a conversation with his wife, his children, you know, being in his personal space. Getting the feeling of it, it was it was it was really priceless. It was really priceless. It was a priceless experience and one that I definitely will forever cherish. So here's how we got to the forty thousand dollar number. Okay, so whew, hold on to your seat. So of course, like any other good business person and company, after that experience. After we went home, after we settled in, you know, you are assigned a person to check on you. Um, it's like an accountability partner almost. I, I kind of forget what they're called. But um, you are assigned a person to check on you, see how things are going. So I had that person. Let me tell you something. That person that was assigned to me was, is truly amazing. Um, just phenomenal she knew the teachings like the back of her hand she made it very easy for me to understand and get if i ever said anything negative she would she would help me rephrase it you know uh in a positive way you know um and she was phenomenal so i really trusted her i really uh and i still do i trusted her and i trusted her uh opinion and her her guidance so one day she called me and she said you know how are you feeling now that we're back from the matrix event and, you know and i told her she said well danish i think that you are on another level you know you are far ahead of a lot of the people that were there uh at the event your idea is amazing it needs to be done she said i really wanted to invite you to another program where you dive deeper with bob you dive deeper and you get a chance to be personally mentored by him and you get uh like i think uh, it was once a week you you're on a call with bob once a week face to face uh, like on a zoom and you do this for six months this is called the inner circle not many people are part of the bob's inner circle but danish i want to invite you to be part of his inner circle part of that special groups part of that special number um, and really dive deep because you have something in you that's special and um, i just think that it needs just a little bit more cultivating and you will have it now the program is not offered to all it is unique and it'll cost twenty four thousand dollars it'll cost twenty four thousand dollars it'll cost twenty four thousand dollars i was just like and what <laughs> because like i said when i had when i had uh made the decision to go to the matrix event I didn't have to take out a loan. I didn't have to, you know, borrow the money. The money actually came to me. Well, it actually came to me in that abundant amount where I had enough for the matrix and I actually, and I had enough for 
this event too in the bank you know so be be thinking about it I was just like okay what are you taught you are taught if you want it go for it don't let your terror bearer stop you and I was just like well I think that I'm gonna talk to my husband about it she's just like well you know here's the thing if you want something you gotta you gotta go for it and not even a spouse should try to talk you out of that thing that you are wanting to do so I really feel like you should make the decision um, you know of whether you want to proceed or not and I was just like yeah that is true you know uh, we should go for our dreams and I go for our goals and everything so you know I said but I'm still going to speak to my husband I talked to my husband about it he was just like I think you should go for it if this is something you want to do do it I signed up for this event I'm, I'm sorry this uh, personalized coaching and I have to say that one thing that uh, is always consistent with Bob Proctor is his messaging right like his messaging is consistent so what you hear or different messages is what I heard on the personalized calls for me I don't feel like uh, I learned a whole lot more in those one-on-one sessions than I did prior so me taking that 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 money's and and uh, and putting it towards that personalized coaching. It was an experience in itself of like uh, clout, but not really so much so where I feel like I learned a ton of stuff. For me, that personal one-on-one was more of the same, right? It was more of the same. This is how you think. This is what you should do. Feeling is the secret. Get on that vibration. Get on that level. Don't let your paradigm hold you back. That those one-on-one coachings, I don't think it was worth it for me. For me, personally. No shade to Bob Proctor. No shade to the Proctor Gallagher Institute. It was just for me. The type of person that I am and uh, the type of person uh, to achieve the goal that I'm looking to achieve, I needed a little bit more. I needed more than feeling is the secret. Meditate on those things. Write your name with your less dominant hand a hundred times a day. Like, okay, I get that. But I needed practical steps on how to do the thing. Like I needed somebody to come in and say, Danish, this is what you do. You come in, you you set the goal, you reach out to these people. If you need money, you this is how you get credit. This is how you get money for that thing. This is how you get the resources. Like, and the first step of doing that is get this, get your website, get this, you know. Like I I needed those practical things and for me I just did not get those practical things. So here's my here's here's the message that I want to uh, wrap this video up with is if you are seeking out a personal mentor, if you are seeking out mentorships, really check into what think about and consider what it is that you need from that mentor look into their history dive deep don't get caught up in the name of the person don't get caught up in the celebrity of the person don't get caught up in you know like clout chasing to say i'm connected to this person so let me go ahead and and you know sign up with them and then maybe i'll make it bigger because i'm connected to that name don't do that you know really think about what they can offer you what the program is offering you what that mentorship can offer you that partnership can offer you so you can get the most out of it because that's what you want you want to get the most out of every everything that you put your money to and you want to reach your goals okay so be careful who you choose as a mentor and why you are choosing that person to really get the most out of 
whatever mentorship and partnership you are going to. I hope that was helpful. I don't want to be shady. Like I said, I love Bob Proctor. I loved what he offered me. I love the experience of working with him. For me, was it worth it? Partly. Partly it was worth it. Some of it, not so much so. Um, but like I said, and I hope I explain my reasons why. So um, be careful who you choose as a mentor and make sure you are making those wise decisions and those for the right reasons too. All right. So I'm signing off. If you have any questions, you let me know. Um, if you want to see any follow ups, let me know. If you want me to dive deeper into mentorship and partnership, let me know. I am here for you. Thank you for listening to the end. <laughs> thank you for liking and subscribing. And thank you for being part of my YouTube family. So until next time, let's change the world together by changing ourselves from the inside first. All right.